It's an exhibit that's 66 million years in the making. Today, the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History opens its long-awaited dinosaur exhibit. It's the culmination of five years' worth of renovations that cost $125 million. And as we hear from Chip Reed, for that price, you know that it features the star of the prehistoric world. Meet the nation's T-Rex, one of the most complete T-Rexes in the world. It's almost entirely real fossils, not plaster. And instead of standing like it's posing for a selfie, this one is chomping on an unfortunate triceratops. Experts painstakingly rebuilt the creatures piece by piece, using the latest knowledge to make them look more real. Matthew Carano is the museum's curator of Dinosauria. They look realer, I think, when you portray them doing real things. So, Like eating another dinosaur. Yeah, like eating or sleeping or, you know, all the different things animals do. Not just posing for a picture. I think even though most of our dinosaurs were real last time, they just looked kind of dusty and old and static. Must go faster. If this is what you envision when you think of a T-Rex, you might not be that far off. When you watch Jurassic Park and you see the Tyrannosaurus Rex, real, fake? They did a pretty good job. They did. It probably isn't an animal that roared, but movies need things that are loud, so that's fine. <laughs> Carano knew he wanted to be a dinosaur scientist when he was in the second grade, but his obsession goes way beyond the main attraction. A lot of kids have an obsession or at least a fascination with the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Do you? Uh, I am, you know, kind of over T-Rex. Yeah. Um, personally, it's, you know, it's our most famous dinosaur. It's a movie star. It's a movie star. It doesn't need my help. And it's not just about dinosaurs. You'll also see creatures ranging from the mastodon to the squalic corax, a prehistoric shark. And fins. Fins. Chauvin Stars oversees the project and its dozens of experts. When you tell people you've got to come to this exhibit, what do you tell them? I tell them that it's unique. It's one of a kind. They will never find another fossil hall like and this. And it's not just about dinosaurs like the T-Rex. Exactly. For Matthew Carano, his inner child has played a central role. When you're deciding how to portray a dinosaur, is it the 10-year-old in you or the you of today who's deciding what to do? Well, it's the 10-year-old in me getting permission from the scientist <laughs> to show something. So because it's got to be real. It's got to be real. What do you want a 10-year-old kid or an 80-year-old person to think and feel when they leave this exhibit? I want them to come in and sort of have their minds blown just by what's in front of them. You but think they will be? I, I'm sure they will be. The T-Rex has to blow your mind, right? That's pretty mind-blowing. <laughs> but I love that he says, it probably isn't an animal that roared. <laughs> That's news to me. I wonder right. what he did sound like. I wonder. Hmm. We'll figure that one out.